Welcome back, I'm Aaron. And I'm Matthew. And this next style that we're going to tackle in this training video is going to be our Scotch Ales. Now, as you may suspect, Scotch Ales actually originated in Scotland. It's um, kind of a modificated, or modified, modificated, that's a good one, uh, a modified version of an English Pale Ale. Um, now, Scotch Ales come in all different shapes, sizes, colors, and ABVs, okay? Um, they can range from kind of a light amber color all the way up to a deep, dark, russet brown color. Um, they can range in alcohol content anywhere from the uh, high 3% range um, all the way upwards towards 11 and 12%. Um, now, there are some uh, technical style differences um, between your light Scottish ales and your dark Scottish ales. But one thing that they always have in common is that they're very malt forward, um, sweeter beers, usually with a lot of dark fruit, caramel, um, and toffee notes as well. Yeah, any hoppiness that you might perceive out of the beer should be only in a supporting role mm -hmm. featuring that malt, that strong malt backbone and that strong malt character. Uh, this beer that we're going to be featuring today is Old Chubb from Oscar Blues Brewery mm -hmm. and Tap Room. They are originally out of Longmont, Colorado, although now they have a second East Coast brewery in Brevard, North Carolina, um, that is uh, just outside of Asheville. Uh, they were the first, we noticed this is a can, they were uh, the first, at least the first um, well-known mm -hmm. craft brewery to ever put their beer in cans. To my knowledge, I don't think they've ever put their beer in anything but a can with the exception of some aluminum pint bottles for some special releases. But other than that, I think almost everything they do comes in a can. They make a, a couple of, uh, almost everything they make is, is very good, but they make a couple really great beers, a couple really great, or a really great pale ale. They have a, a great pilsner. They really hit the style. Yeah, they really hit the styles pretty, pretty head on. Uh, it's a really fun brewery. Uh, uh, the owner, Dale, uh, I never, I always butcher his last name. It's something around catch, catch a cake is something like that. <laughs> uh, he's uh, very, very fond of the outdoors, as many, many people in Colorado are. And he loved to go hiking. And he wanted to bring beer with him when he was hiking, which is what gave him the idea um, at first to put his beer in cans instead of bottles. That's right. And I think they also just got a big kick out of it because they started winning awards with their beers and they thought it was hilarious to put an award-winning beer into a can, which at the time when they were starting to produce these beers, cans still had a very um, prevalent stigma about them, about uh, you know only bad beer comes in cans. Well, mm -hmm. here we have gold medal award-winning beers that they're putting into cans. And it's also, they, they put a lot of personality into their beers as well, yeah. not only in the creative naming and the creative packaging, um, but on their canning line, um, if you, anytime you see an Oscar Blues beer, um, every day that they run the canning line, they actually stamp something different on the bottom of the can. It can range, most of the time it's inside jokes that really have no, I yeah. have no connection to. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes you'll get some really hilarious ones. What does this one say? This one, um, after the canning date, says Al Bundy's boss. So something from Married with Children. I don't know if we ever saw his boss. Uh, the, sh the shoe store boss. I'm not really I don't sure. think so. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can't remember either. Plus, but, I don't want to date myself and say how uh, how young I was. Well, it's still it's Mary it's on re children. it's on reruns. That's right. It's on reruns. All right, let's go ahead and get this uh, get this sucker into a into a glass. Now, uh, are Scottish ales and Scotch ales are those the same things? Technically speaking, there there is some difference. To is them. there? Okay. Yes. Um, Scotch ales tend to be um, of the lighter variety, um, and then Scottish ales are actually of the heavier, higher ABV, darker color variety. Um, however, uh, those two styles are really blended together, particularly with American brewers. Um, as you can see here, we've got a, a very dark beer, um, which is, this is on, definitely on the, the dark end of the color spectrum for Scotch ales. Mm -hmm. um, this also clicks in at 8% ABV. So it's pretty up there. Absolutely. Um, and it's important to note um, that as of right now, um, Old Chubb is the only beer that we have uh, in our system that is 8% that automatically goes into a pint glass. And every other beer that's 8% is going to go into a snifter. Now this has really, really nice Pretty. color yeah. to it. Yeah. yeah, it's deep garnet. Um, it looks brown until the light reflects through it. Um, yeah. And then you get these really beautiful ruby tones. It reminds me when you went trick-or-treating on Halloween, you got those bottle caps. It reminds me of that root beer one. That, that root beer bottle cap. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. really nice. And you get this kind of sandy, um, nice pillowy head to it. Um, pretty good retention here. Uh, it's a really, really good looking beer. Yeah, the, the head almost looks like it's a stout if you're looking at it from, 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 uh, sure. from right above. All right, let's smell it. 
Now, not only is it a really, really good looking beer, it's a really good smelling beer. Sure. I'm not. Yeah, I'm I, not picking up any hops. Maybe a slight bitterness, but that might be from the malt. It's got some chocolate bitter, a little mm-hmm. bit of a bittering chocolate note. But this, I think this, uh, I think this puppy is all malt, all malt, all the way. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. we get, um, uh, and it's it's a really complex melange of malt flavors here. Mm-hmm. Not only do we have a little bit of chocolate, there's touches of coffee. There's almost a little bit of like a charred brown sugar type of a smell to it. Um, and then we also get some. Tiny hints of stone fruit, um, some dark dark fruits as well, some plum and some raisin mixed in there as well. Yeah, I'm getting a, a like a really chocolatey chocolate milk right as you're stirring it, and that mm. that chocolate's coming up from the bottom of the glass. I'm getting that kind of a nose on it. Yeah. Really, just a, a fantastic smelling beer. Absolutely, very right. very malt yeah. forward. Cheers. Cheers. What a what a great beer. Mm. Let's just start off by saying that. Um, everything across the board screams Scotch Ale or Scottish Ale, mm-hmm. um, including the mouthfeel. I feel like that mouthfeel is right on point. It's not too thick. It's just thick enough to carry the flavors to pr- provide a vehicle mm-hmm. for, um, for, for the malt. Yeah. Really, really great. Yeah, you get a lot of sweetness right up front on the palate. You hit, get hit with some of this milk chocolate. Mm-hmm. And then it kind of segues into almost like a slightly more bitter note um, with some other dark fruits in there as well. And then I get a, a pretty noticeable um, alcohol uh, a heat to it right in right in the back, which is pretty typical of this style. Mm-hmm. And remember, it, it, it's, it's 8%, mm-hmm. so it's up there for the style. Yep. Um, yeah, it, it, it's it's a really... It's a really easy drinking beer but don't don't let that confuse you there's a lot going on this is easily one of the most complex beers that that we've had over over these absolutely these yeah yeah absolutely and it's um it, it drinks a slightly lighter than the color would indicate mm-hmm. as well so you really can't be intimidated by by this beer uh you know just on appearance alone yeah and that's why i made the comment about the mouthfeel yep. i expected a thicker mouthfeel and it's it's just thick enough to to deliver those flavors but still really really nice absolutely absolutely another success and uh, uh, Oscar Blues has, uh, again, a great distribution stamp. Mm-hmm. They're available almost across the entire country, particularly now that they have their second brewery open. Um, a great brew, um, a lot of name recognition. Their packaging and marketing um, is, is always recognizable. They don't make a bad beer, this beer included. It's very true. Um, and so this is always available in cans. Um, they actually produce a nitro version of this beer as well. Where yeah. The, the can is actually... Um, and pressurized with nitrogen gas, which gives it a different, slightly different feel. It's actually also a slightly different recipe, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it, it's really, really interesting uh, that they've done this. Uh, they are providing the uh, the nitro version of that beer in a 16 ounce tall boy can, so it's a, it's still canned, but it's a different format. And they've also toned down the ABV to I believe 6.9 percent mm. to make it a little bit more sessionable. They say in their words, but 6.9 percent you can only still have. So high. yeah, yeah, it's 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 still pretty uh, pretty up there. Although it's more sessionable ABV wise than this beer, it's going to have a more delicate mouthfeel, a more mm-hmm. fluffy, pillowy mouthfeel because it's on nitro and those the uh, nitrogen to CO two ratio is different than this one. But I think either way, you you, you you're not going to go wrong with with this beer, and you're not going to go wrong with Oscar Blues as a brewery as well. Sure. Yep. Yeah. You can recommend this with confidence to somebody that's looking for something a little bit different, uh, perhaps even somebody that um, is interested in Belgian ales, um, which are typically still have this big type of malt presence as well. Um, there's there's really nothing intimidating about this beer with the exception of the color, um, but a really great beer, um, lots and lots of flavor, um, and a relatively high alcohol content with a really nice price point as well. Yeah, so, yeah well, cheers. Cheers. God, they need to throw this into a rum barrel. Mm-hmm.